The AI world has been on fire these last few days. OpenAI introduced five-level road to AGI, Elon Musk dropped major updates on Grok2 and Neuralink's brain chips, Samsung's upgrading Bixby, and Amazon's rolling out new AI tools. Plus, there's big news from OpenAI, AMD, and even a virtual beauty pageant win. So stick around for all the details. All right, so OpenAI has set a five-level system to track its progress toward human-level artificial intelligence, AGI, and it's almost at level two. Right now, the company is on the first level, which is conversational AI. They shared this system with employees and plan to share it with investors soon. The first level is where we are now with conversational AI, like chatbots. The second level, called Reasoners, involves AI that can solve basic problems and is comparable to a human with a doctorate, but without tools. The third level, Agents refers to AI that can perform tasks for several days on behalf of its user. The fourth level, Innovators, describes AI that can help develop new inventions. Recently, OpenAI demonstrated a research project using GPT-4, showing it has human-like reasoning skills. The system for defining these levels was created by OpenAI leaders and can be updated based on feedback from employees, investors, and the board. Interestingly, in May, OpenAI disbanded its super alignment team, which focused on AI's existential risks. Their work is now integrated into other research projects within the company. All right, Elon Musk just dropped a major update. Grok2, the next version of his AI tool might be ready next month. This announcement came in a reply on X. Musk mentioned, Grok2 is going through fine tuning and bug fixes, probably ready to release next month. Now, Grok2 will be available to all X users who subscribe to the Premium Plus service at $16 per month or $22 via the app. Unlike traditional chatbots like ChatGPT, Grok is designed to be witty and politically incorrect with real time knowledge of current events. It's fully integrated into the X platform. Musk also talked about XAI's ambitious plans. The chatbot is trained on 24,000 H100s, and XAI is working on a 100K H100 system to create the fastest training cluster in the world. Instead of partnering with Oracle, Musk's team is handling this internally to stay ahead in the AI race. Though there's no exact release date yet, keep an eye on Musk's social media for the official announcement. Now, he also just dropped some exciting news about Neuralink's brain chip technology in a recent live stream. He aims to give people superpowers with these chips, which have tiny wires and electrodes that monitor and stimulate brain activity. Right now, the focus is on helping people with neurological conditions. The first patient, Noland Arbaugh, received his chip in January and reported significant improvements. Musk has ambitious plans for the future, envisioning enhancements even for healthy individuals. He mentioned integrating Tesla's humanoid robot parts to provide cybernetic superpowers. The next Neuralink patient is set to receive their implant soon. The new device will have more threads and fewer electrodes per thread, potentially doubling its power. Neuralink is also working on safety measures like skull sculpting to reduce risks. Musk hopes to test the chip on several patients this year and thousands in the future, depending on progress and approvals. And no, they haven't randomly implanted chips in people's brains yet. Okay now, Samsung is set to launch an upgraded version of its voice assistant Bixby this year. TM Rowe, Samsung's mobile chief, revealed this in an interview with CNBC, highlighting that the new Bixby will use Samsung's own AI models. This upgrade is part of Samsung's broader strategy to integrate more AI features into its devices. Launched in 2017 with the Galaxy S8, Bixby offers functions like live translations and restaurant recommendations. The new version will incorporate generative AI technology, enhancing its capabilities. Despite this upgrade, Samsung will continue allowing multiple voice assistants on its devices, including Google's AI Assistant. This announcement comes as Apple also plans to enhance Siri with AI, including integration with OpenAI's ChatG. GPT. Samsung's move aims to push more AI features across its product range, encouraging users to upgrade to premium devices. Recently, Samsung unveiled new foldable phones, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6, alongside new AI tools to boost user convenience and satisfaction. TMRO emphasized the importance of AI in making products more appealing, suggesting that enhanced AI features will drive sales of new Samsung products. So expect a smarter, more capable Bixby soon, and stay tuned for more updates. All right now. Microsoft and Apple are stepping back from OpenAI's board amid growing antitrust scrutiny. Microsoft, which invested $13 billion in OpenAI, immediately gave up its observer seat. Apple was expected to join, but now won't either. Instead, OpenAI will host regular meetings with partners like Microsoft, 
Apple, and investors like Thrive Capital. This is part of a new strategy to engage with key partners led by their new CFO, Sarah Fryer. Antitrust authorities in the US and EU are looking closely at Microsoft's partnership with OpenAI. This follows last year's chaos when OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman was fired and then reinstated, which threatened OpenAI's valuation and Microsoft's investment. Microsoft's observer role provided insights without compromising independence, but they've now seen enough progress to step back. Microsoft still values OpenAI highly, especially since their partnership has driven significant demand for Microsoft's AI services. The European Commission and the US Federal Trade Commission are examining big tech investments in AI startups, including this one. But even with Microsoft stepping back, the scrutiny is expected to continue. OpenAI is still independently governed and remains a key partner for Microsoft. Now, Claude Sonnet 3.5 just got a big update that makes creating AI prompts super easy. Anthropic, the company behind Claude, has added new features to their console that let users generate, test, and evaluate prompts effortlessly. Claude Sonnet 3.5 is already topping the S&P global leaderboard, beating out ChatGPT and Google Gemini. Now, with these updates, users can create high-quality prompts without the usual hassle. The new features include generating test cases and comparing multiple prompts to find the best one. You can now let Claude create a prompt for you based on a simple description. The test case generator lets you see how well the prompt meets your needs. You can even create a test suite to see how prompts respond to different inputs, all within the Anthropic console. This means no more switching between multiple documents. The update also allows you to compare outputs of different prompts side by side, making it easier to see the impact of any changes. Claude Sané 3.5 is available for free on Claude.i and the Claude iOS app. For more details on how to create your own prompts, check out the user guide from Anthropic. All right, now check this out. Kenza Laley, an AI-generated Moroccan influencer, has been crowned Miss AI 2024 in a groundbreaking virtual beauty pageant. This contest, judged on realism, tech, and social clout, featured 1,500 AI-generated contestants. Laley, wearing a hijab, stood out and won the title along with a $20,000 prize. Created by Mariam Bessa from Moroccan media agency L'Atelier Digital and AI, Laley represents Moroccan, Arab, African, and Muslim women in technology. Bessa, thrilled by the win, emphasized the importance of women empowerment and sisterhood through Laley. The AI Beauty Contest, launched by the World AI Creator Awards, aimed to showcase a new perspective on beauty and creativity in AI. Judges included both humans and AI models. They praised Laley for her detailed realism in features like hands, eyes, and clothing. However, the rise of AI-generated influencers has sparked criticism. Experts warn about AI's potential dangers and its role in perpetuating unrealistic beauty standards and societal expectations. Activists argue that these digital creations often promote flawed and conventional notions of attractiveness. Despite the controversies, Laylee's victory marks a significant moment in the intersection of technology and beauty highlighting both opportunities and challenges in the AI landscape. Finally, AMD is making waves by acquiring Silo AI, a Finnish AI developer, for $665 million. This deal, expected to close later this year, will integrate Silo AI into AMD's Artificial Intelligence Group, known for its MI300 machine learning accelerators that compete with NVIDIA's top products. Silo AI specializes in automating tasks and creating custom language models for large companies. They also develop neural networks for tasks like detecting faults in production lines and handle the integration and maintenance of these systems. With over 200 completed projects for big names like Allianz, Nokia, and Siemens, Silo AI brings a wealth of experience. Their AI tools, known as Silo OS, include development tools and applications. Recently, they launched two open source language models, Viking, which understands multiple languages and coding syntaxes, and Poro, a more advanced version. This acquisition will bring Silo AI's software portfolio and its 300-person team to AMD, enhancing its AI strategy. By streamlining the setup of large AI clusters, AMD aims to improve the customer experience for its processors. Additionally, AMD previously acquired Nod.ai and its Shark tool, which boosts AI model inference performance. All right, if you found this interesting and want to stay updated on more AI insights like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.